That's right, Sharon. Many teachers and SNAs on your duty are reporting the sharp eyes and sting crying younger during lunch times. The world awaits the documentation. This is just too much. 2020 can't get any worse. What are you talking about? They're just nettles. They are vicious predators to cause us maximus pain. I don't think that's how it works. Let's ask my uncle. Uncle, stay low, plant. So, Stephen is also known by a scientific name, Urtadioka, coming from Euro, which means the moon because it needs to cause a temporary burn station upon crime. Being around for hundreds of years, Roman troops used to rub blood their skin to these walls. Why do you sound like this? There are six different types, five which have many hollow stinging hairs injecting histamine and other chemicals that produce a stinging sensation. So, they stab you with poison. <laughs> They've developed these hair, hairs to stop animals from eating them. In fact, we got a burger made entirely from nettles in the oven right now if you want to stick around to try it. Thanks, we're in a hurry to uh, find out about nettle stings from my neighbours. They're doctors. So your uncles are absolutely right. Hairs at the surface of the leaves are mature with tiny hollow spines, each with a ball and space that contains a number of different chemicals with biological properties. When the silicon rod breaks in contact, like your bare hand or leg, their sharp ends can pierce your skin. A dose of serotonin and histamine, histamine is released from the bulb, causing pain and triggering an inflammatory reaction. Formic acid may also make a sting. So they stab you with poison. <laughs> acid is released in such small quantities its role is unclear. So what happens if you get stung? If that's not true, it never sings in her up to several hours. Red melts or itchy rashes can appear on the skin at points of contact. Really hurts. Who called for my help? I did. Does the rash mean that you're having an allergic reaction to the nettle stick? Some people can have an allergic reaction to nettles, but they're extremely rare. If you start struggling to breathe, wheezing, swelling, or getting rashes on parts of your body that went in contact with the nettle, you need to get emergency treatment. Now that's a good reason to call me. However, the sting can be extremely painful. If you get stung, you need to leave it for 10 minutes. Don't wash it, don't scratch it, don't do anything. It's easier to get the chemicals off if you try it in a little bit. Wash the skin with this stuff. Alkaline, it neutralizes acid. Oh, you could use a small amount of water, it's also an alkaline. You can also use a bit of clicky uh, tape to remove all the hairs. It should clear up within 24 hours. What about dock leaves? Yeah, the nettles are arch nemesis. Hang on, we're not enemies. Yeah, we even got in near each other. We like the same soil, the same climate, the same dinosaur. We're friends. But I'm stronger than you now. No, I'm stronger. <laughs> The jury's out on whatever dot leaves make a difference or not. I'll send you up to my friend the scientist to get the latest on one. Come on, we know that most scientists don't look like that by now. So dot leaves are traditionally used as a cure for nettle things, but it's never been proven scientifically. Personally, I believe there are three possible reasons. First, the sap might contain alkaline, a cooling property that works against the formic acid in the nettle. See, I can beat you. Secondly, the act of rubbing the duck leaf on your skin might help. Counter stimulation is a common technique in playing clinics. So you're nothing special. Thirdly, the placebo effect. Everyone expects it to work, so it does. I knew it was all in your head. Come here, I'm gonna neutralize you. <laughs> so we still don't know for sure. Yeah, but are you as worried about a nettle invasion now that you know the science behind it? No, I'm actually not. Well then, job done.